welcome back to James Bond Show Beer Reviews. Thanks for stopping by. And today we've got a special beer. It's episode A of season four, and uh, it's an, another yet another craft beer from the United States of America. And today, as promised, I was kind of building up to a better, bigger beer. So today it's a very blend one. Um, without further ado, let me introduce it. It's the Oak Argan Bastard Ale from Stone Brewing Company in um, Escondido, California. Uh, now, this is an American strong ale at 7.2 ABV. Uh, the, the regular Argan Bastard is quite, a, quite an acclaimed big uh, beer brewed by the folks at Stone. Uh, they've been doing it for quite a while. Um, this one used to be a special release. It's a, it's a beer that's aged with uh, American oak wood chips. Um, but now, I think two years ago, they finally uh, introduced this as a year-round beer, and you can only get this in the, these kind of 12-ounce bottles, 3 to 5 mils, and on draft in the States as well. Um, no bombers for this one, I guess. Uh, I was really happy to get any stone beer, really, because um, I've heard great things about them, and uh, you know, the very kind brewery, and uh, everything they do is kind of witty, and even you know, starting with the labels, very well labeled beer, loads of information, loads of kind of humorous um, paragraphs here as well. But I, I think it's it, you know it well does the job. One thing I could think of about um, these kind of labels, they're actually engraved in the bottle rather than you know going with the traditional paper labels. Is that you cannot save the label if you wanted to. We can save the bottle. Uh, even the caps are nice. It's only um, considering there's only two colors in the cap. It's a golden kind of color. And there's a black logo on it, but it looks so, you know, it's, it's so full of harmony and it's so well done. It's just everything about them is great. And I've also seen some videos on YouTube on the channel. I'll probably post a link uh, if, I, if I can find them. Um, those guys are really funny and really, uh, you know, professional in what they do. Either, either way, uh, we're going to review this beer today. Um, it's a very broad kind of style of beer, it's and strong ale. I'm not going to go into detailed explanation because there's not really much to say about it. Uh, really, it's just a it's a broad kind of umbrella term that kind of includes all the barley wine styles and all the old aged you know old ales that are kind of different from the old English traditional um, strong ales. So they classify as American um, ales. Sometimes it's a very, very um, you know hoppy and uh, sometimes multi uh, pale ales, but you know, they, they like to classify them as a separate kind of category. So uh, there's not m much to say about the history, so which is going to say it's an American strong ale and uh, beer advocate suggests you serve this either in a pine glass or a snifter. And uh, I was actually debating whether I should use that or the other, but I actually got a snifter just yesterday for a dollar, a really nice one, it's a small one. But it's very generic, but I think it's, a, it's kind of you know, it's, it's a quality snifter. I'm going to be using that because I want to get the most out of this beer. I was so excited to get this. And uh, you know, let's review and see what it's all about. A uh, quick mention I'm also a Raid Bear now. I joined a few days ago, so uh, I'll probably post the link as well. Uh, you can check my um, written reviews, which I usually do once I review a beer here on YouTube. So let's read it there. So before we open the bottle, I want to quickly read half of the, at least a portion of the label. Now, stone beers are usually known for their uh, notorious kind of labels and very clever, sarcastic um, manner in which they describe the beer. They also have a, a definition for each beer. In this case, it's uh, arrogance, which is the after quality of being arrogant, haughty, and due assumption or overbearing conceit. So the arrogant bastard, I'll just read um, a third of the whole thing. So this is an aggressive ale, you probably won't like it. It is quite doubtful that you even have the taste or sophistication to be able to appreciate an ale with its quality and depth. Uh, we would suggest that you stick to safer and more familiar territory, maybe something like a multi-million dollar ad campaign aimed at convincing you it's made in a little brewery, or one that applies that the tasteless fizzy yellow beer will give you more sex appeal. Perhaps you think the multi-million dollar ad campaigns make a beer taste better, perhaps your mouth and your words as you read this label. So, uh, very clever. That's open bottle, the actual bottle. I want to save the cap. I have one more chance to save, save this kind of cap for the second beer, but yeah, I don't want to risk it, I guess. Take nice and slow. It's actually bubbling on me. I don't like that too much. So, uh, I'll speed it up. I guess I shook the bottle a bit too much when I was reading it. 
So let's pour a little bit into the snifter. Plenty of heads. It's a very dark kind of ruby red. I'd say even like uh, reddish brown with a ruby red glow. And um, some carbonation, very nice uh, creamy head. This is definitely a creamy head. Now I was watching this video for Fuller's Beers and um, um, one of the folks at, at the brewery they were introducing some of the beers and they showed the technique where you close the sniff down and you kind of um, swell it up so you release all the aromas but at the same time you don't let them go um, you know, go away before you actually uh, give it a whiff Oh this is magical, this is very hoppy so up front you get that a nice west coast style hoppiness with a nice caramel uh, background and a very uh, it's kind of like vanilla it's basically that oat uh, smell it smells like a wooden barrel would probably smell like and uh, so some vanilla caramel even toffee um, dark fruit definitely very complex smell to it the hoppiness is very like citrus like I think beautiful beer I'm sorry I spilled some uh, some of it if you saw it but uh, let's give it a try now you know what I think this is as close as I've ever come to a uh, mouth orgasm <laughs> if you will this is one of the best beers I've ever tasted like the first sip up front you get hit with that um, citrusy hops um, very well balanced with the caramel maltiness right away you don't get like a pause in between anything um, you get that vanilla oak um, flavors as well maybe some cherries or plums raisins and then the finish how do I put this? Mm. You get some bitterness. You get some of that dry fruit as well. It's very complex. I can't even like explain it to the extent it's actually um, you know, it actually is. But um, a bit a bit bready as well. A bit of that dark fruit. And the carbonation, I think, um, it's kind of medium medium body to it. Uh, definitely not a very chewy beer. Mm. But it's just so complex and so intense. Hoppiness is present all around, all, all through that tasting. Some nice lacing too, some nice head. I think I was a pretty good choice with the sniff, it's just I shouldn't have shaken the bottle that much. Um, but other than that, you know what, let me gather my thoughts up and I'll do my written reviews and I'll uh, come back to you with my final word. But this is an excellent beer. I don't know how the regular Argan Bastard actually tastes like, but I think it's probably a bit better than the regular one. Okay, so I'm back with the Oak Ambassador Ale. Uh, fantastic beer, outstanding. I cannot emphasize it enough, I think. Uh, I gave this very high rating on both sides, the uh, graphic and the uh, red beer. And I think I'll give it a 10 out of 10. It's a perfect um, grade, perfect rating. It doesn't mean it's a perfect beer, but it's, it's a very, very well balanced beer, very flavorful, very intense. Uh, you know, it's been a while, so I've, I'm drinking this and taking it nice and slow, and the sniffer certainly helps. There's still some hair, still some lacing. The aromas are there, the flavors are there. It's very intense, nice hoppiness, very pungent, um, juicy grapefruit notes. Some peppery notes start coming out as you drink more of it, I think. Very nice oakiness in the finish and in the middle of the, of the taste as well. Uh, the caramel and the toffee and the caramel, you know, sweet, sweet maltiness is very, uh, acts pretty well with the, you know, as a counterbalance to um, the nice sharp hoppiness to it. A uh, very nice mouthfeel too, it kind of coats your mouth. Um, um, you know, medium, moderate kind of carbonation only enhances it, I think. As for drinkability, enjoy this in moderation, don't, you know, go across the line too much. But I think you can have a few of these. I mean, 7.2, it's not that um, potent. Some beers are more potent than that, especially American strong ales. But you know, a very good beer. I'm certainly glad I tried this. My first uh, stone beer. Could I wish for a better introduction to stone beers? No, I think 
so uh, 10 out of 10 for Oaked Argan Bastard from Stone and it's a wonderful beer definitely recommend it to anyone especially if you're into hoppy beers and uh, yeah stick to the beer that's it for this review see you next time bye